Hi, Haley. How you doing? Good. How are you? You look beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome. So I saw the movie. It was awesome. Good. I'm not much of like a sci-fi girl. Yeah. But I really enjoyed it. But you are now. But I am now. <laughs> Good. Do you find yourself as a tomboyish or that's completely opposite? Um, not that she was a tomboy. No. But. <laughs> I think uh, a wonderful thing about the character I play in the film, Petra, she is able to sort of keep up in this world that she's in being the only girl. Mm -hmm. um, whether that calls for being a sort of tomboy in some situations where she kind of just has to forget about everything and just do what she has to do to sort of get things done. Mm -hmm. um, I love that about her and I think that um, with some of the situations I'm in I'll sort of do you know whatever you have to do to sort of make it work so assert yourself th yeah, yeah yeah there's definitely that similarity I'd say what was an average day like on set I'm sure you had really early mornings really late nights I mean it was a lot of fun mm -hmm. because the whole cast got on so well and the crew like literally by the end of it we were like a family and um it was hard work especially the, the very it was the most physical film I've ever done and I think most of the cast I've ever done and so there was a lot of wire work and marching and pretty endless sort of being pushed and uh, it was all to get us into the mindset of what these kids were going through so it was it was hard work but it was so helpful and uh, it paid off. We had a couple weeks of uh, training before we started filming which called for waking up at 7 a.m. every morning and going straight to boot camp and military training and it was, for me, up until that point, the most preparation physically I've ever... I probably will read the book, too, so you nice. inspired me. Amazing. We're here with Asa Butterfield. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Done for a, for a role. Wow. So that was really exciting, sort of starting with that and following through, through the entire film, just, um, you know having all these different elements that you wouldn't necessarily think of when you read the book or the script. So right. that was definitely exciting. Being that most of the movie was filmed in space, yes. was it hard to act like on a green screen or however you guys did it when you couldn't see your surroundings at that time? Yeah, really weird and really. difficult and sort of unnatural in a way because mm -hmm. um, I had come off of doing a period piece where you're sort of able to take advantage of everything around you because it's so specific mm -hmm. uh, due to that time and going from that to a green screen where you have nothing around you except for your castmates and your imagination mm -hmm. is something that's really interesting because it allowed me to use my imagination in a way that I never really had before so I enjoyed that. So now that your hard work for the last two years is kind of over for now, are you going to celebrate, go on a vacation, go out with your friends? I got school. School? Oh, so no. No. <laughs> no. No rest for the wicked. All right. Cool. All right. Thank you. Are you going to celebrate now that the movie's out and all your hard work is just completely... Yes. I'm so excited that it's finally coming out. It's been almost two years since we yeah. shot the film, which is so crazy to think about. <laughs> okay, just wondering. <laughs> All right, that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, I watched the movie last night. Really enjoyed it. I'm not too much of a sci-fi person, I was telling Haley, but I really liked the movie. How do you relate to your character? Ender kind of starts out as an outcast and then as a leader. Like, do you relate to both sides, one side? Um, I mean, there's a couple of ways. There is, as you said, the development that he has from being the outcast, the underdog, the, the kid who pretty much just left out of everything to becoming humanity's greatest hope. Mm -hmm. And um, for me as a person, I think in the last so four years really, I've developed massively both as a person and as an actor and I think that is definitely something we have in common. And then again, something else is how Ender, it isn't to the same level, but Ender's got the pressure of pretty much the fate of the planet on his shoulders and as a young actor there is often pressure to be this icon and be in the limelight and the publicity. So yeah, I guess there's a couple of things. How does your character relate to you in real life.